Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. If you are new here and don't want to miss the daily tarot readings, subscribe now by clicking the red button below this video. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. At the end of this video, if you are interested, I will also record an extended reading to know more specific details on their feelings and intentions for you at this moment. Now let's start with the reading. First, let's shuffle the deck three times for you. Let's see the current situation. The Magician in the reverse. What is affecting you in your subconscious? The Two of Cups. What happened in the recent past? The Nine of Wands in the reverse. Let's first clarify the Magician in the reverse. Okay, the uh, Six of Cups in the reverse. Let's clarify the Two of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Let's clarify the Nine of Wands in the reverse. Ten of Pentacles. I guess it was a long-term commitment, maybe you were together for a long time or you had a family together, but someone decided to give up in the recent past. What is affecting you in your subconscious is the idea that this was a soulmate connection and you believed in it, you worked hard on it, you wanted to see something uh, getting out from this connection, something more uh, serious and that is what is affecting you for the current moment it seems like you can't move forward with this connection and uh, they have left you with a lot of bad memories with the six of cups in the reverse now page of pentacles in the reverse is something you want to focus on or avoid and uh, I guess it is the fact that uh, there has been no communication. You don't feel quite right why it is not happening. You want some communication from them. And uh, there's this idea to start something new, but things are not moving forward. And uh, your focus is to find ways to be more open, to be more vulnerable and uh, find the right po uh, find the right person now you want to find the right person to share your life with in the near future you have the five of wands the energy around you is the five of swords almost same energies and the two of wands is how you view the situation with this past person i guess uh, you feel, you feel they are ignoring you, uh, like they have forgotten you and they have moved to another direction with their life. That's how you feel about this situation. Now, let's clarify first the Five of Wands. Okay, the Judgment card. Let's clarify the Five of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. The Sun card. And also the Moon in the reverse. The High Priest is at the bottom of the deck. So this person that is on your mind has been single, independent, is doing fine financially. But they have been happy in the connection with you. You made them happy. And uh, they want to talk. They are being a bit stressed out. But this person likes to play a lot of mind games. That's what I don't like there. Also, I guess if they will come and ask for a second chance, you may be in a connection again, but the same challenges may again repeat. So if there were conflicts and arguments a lot, in the in this connection before maybe they will happen again if you give this person another chance let's see what are your hopes or fears and let's see what is the potential outcome 
So your hopes or fears is the Six of Cups in the reverse. Let's clarify it. The Four of Wands. The Page of Wands. And the Three of Wands. The idea is that uh, your focus now is to start a connection, a stable connection. You are waiting for them. You want to celebrate the love to something more serious. But what is affecting this decision or indecision of yours is the fact that you have not so very good memories with this person. Even though you want a connection with them, those bad memories come again into your mind. And it seems like they did a lot of not so good things in for the connection. Maybe they didn't work hard to to make it work. But definitely I guess this person will talk now. This person have has given you silence treatment with a high priestess in the reverse, but they will talk. And also there's a second scenario here that you may hear something that you didn't know about this person before. Something that was hidden from you, now you will realize about them. So even if this person doesn't talk to you, I guess they will talk. There's this energy that they want to talk, they want a second chance here. Even if they don't talk, you will hear something about them that you didn't know, that was uh, in the dark uh, when you were in the connection together. So Sagittarius, this was your general love reading. I hope it was helpful. If you are interested, I will continue this reading in the extended link that is in the description box below this video where I will view the energies around the connection, you and this person. Also, how does your person feel now? How do they view you now? What are their intentions and also an advice regarding a connection with this person? See you the next reading and bye for now.